In this iMovie tutorial, we're going to show you how to speed ramp, just like this. Hey, how's it going folks? ET here again. Let's do this speed ramp tutorial. So what I did before I actually started this video was I grabbed my iPhone and I put the setting to 320 slow motion and I recorded this clip here. And you can see if I scrub through it, it's fast, but in real life, it is super slow. Alrighty. And I think this is the one I actually ended up using. Same thing. So let's go ahead and grab this one, drag it into the timeline. And what you want to do is actually scrub to the point where you want it to start. So I want it to start in and then moving out, moving back. So at that point where it actually starts to move, I'm going to hold the R key and then I'm going to use my mouse or my trackpad and click and I'm going to drag. Okay, so now you have this little clip area highlighted here. We're going to go up to the speedometer here. We're going to go to the drop down menu here. We're going to go to custom. And this is where the, the hard part is. Not hard, but you just got to play with it. I did this at 320 frames per second. So I'm guessing here, I'm going to put 4,000 for the speed. So let's go ahead and do that and try it out. You can try 4,000, 2,500, 1,000, and just whatever, depending on the speed that you actually did your video with and the actual zoom and pan you did, kind of customize it to make it look as, as good as possible. So we're going to go ahead and try that. All right. So you'll notice that it made it really small because we're speeding it up 4,000%. So let me zoom out the clip here so we can see it a little bit better and I'm gonna go ahead and play it and you can see what it looks like there you go so we'll start from slow motion and you'll see at about this point this is where that ramp up starts there you go and the most important thing I think is you need that swoosh or that zoop or some kind of sound yeah alright so we're gonna go ahead and drag this one down here to that point where it starts and I don't need that much, so I'm going to cut off some of it. I'll do right click, split, and we'll delete the back half. That way we can kind of move it around here and get it exactly where we want it. So let's go ahead and try that again. Let me raise that volume. All right. So, of course, system sounds you won't hear so well, but I'm a little bit off there. How about more of this? So let's do Command B. Take some of that down. There you go. So we have a nice little sound effect that kind of gives you the effect of shoo or swoosh or whatever. You know, if you watch a lot of YouTube videos that do this, a lot of the um, really good editors that use drone footage and stuff like that, you'll get that, that kind of look and feel and that sound that actually adds a lot to it. So basically, that's it. So let's go ahead and review real quick. We're going to grab your clip. You're going to drag it into the timeline. You're going to find your zoom points or your ramp points, which is right about here. You're gonna hold down your R key, hold down your mouse or your trackpad. You're gonna drag to the point where you want it to stop and you're gonna let go. Another way to do it is use the I and the O key. So find your point, hit the I, and then find your out point and hit the O. So that'll do the same thing. So either hold the R and drag it or just do I and O. At this point, you're gonna to go to the speedometer menu. You're gonna to go to custom and you're going to do your percentage. So let's do 3200 this time. Let's see how this looks. And the key here is the smooth. You need that smooth. That's what gives you kind of that ramping. You don't want it to be jarring. Okay, let's go ahead and check that out. Let me expand the clip here so we can see it. There you go, 3200. All righty, well, that's it. See, we don't need to spend $299 on Final Cut Pro. We can do it here in iMovie, yeah? A little bit of hacks and trickery and a little bit of prep in your shot. Remember to shoot it at 60 frames, 120, 300, whatever you can get it. The higher frame rate, the better. So it's going to look really smooth. And you're going to be slowly and steadily panning out so the shot looks super smooth. All right? Okay, we'll talk to you in the next one. Peace and aloha. Aloha.